We had a big staff of layout people pasting up everything. Every photograph had to be duplicated in our lab because we flew the uh, ingredients of a magazine to uh, Chicago to the printer every week, and you had to worry if the plane went down. magazines. They're a wonderful form. And the people involved in the magazine business are usually very interesting. The writers, the photographers, the artists, they have interesting personalities and uh, a lot to say. Over those years, we began a nice collaboration, a, a nice way of working together. I had so much respect for his abilities. You really felt good coming to work every day and look forward to what the day would bring and it was always full of surprises. Milton had a certain calmness. I mean, we could have to close a cover and a story on a Thursday night and on Wednesday we had nothing and, you know, he wouldn't panic. We had a very good collaboration. We were partners for many years after New York Magazine. In the 60s and 70s, illustration was still a big thing and in magazines. We did rely a lot reoccurring illustrators, but also illustration was very important. We kind of got a team of freelance artists, writers, and photographers that we could call on. And you needed that because there would always be an emergency. I had the opportunity to redesign Time Magazine. Now, Time Magazine at that time was one of the biggest in the country, in the world. It had six million circulation. It was a big learning experience and it had big impact. Then after about five years, I got a call from the Washington Post asking if I would redesign it. So I happened to call Milton and we started WBMG, Walter Bernard and Milton Glaser to stick with editorial design and development. And so we started with the Washington Post and Lear in France, and it just built from there. About three or four years ago, we really got serious. Milton and I talked about what we'd like to do. One of the things I didn't want to do is a picture book. I wanted to tell the stories about how magazines were made how we work together. We decided to do the book by interviewing a lot of collaborators who were still around. Walter spent his life doing magazines, and uh, this is a nice testament to his work. Hopefully uh, it'll have some um, uh, interest to readers who loved magazines and readers who were curious about what the hell a magazine was. One of the mysteries of life is who you can partner with. It doesn't occur too often that there are successful partnerships, but Walter and I really had fun working together. We had fun doing this. We had a very pleasant time and we met and reunited with a lot of uh, great colleagues.